So I'm here to let you know about my latest blog post on my blog, Claire C. It's called Lessons from 30, Processing Pain. Ever since I've been little, I have not liked pain. I wasn't really the type of kid you had to whoop a lot. Just give me the voice, you know, hit me with that look, and it was enough. It was enough to let me know I needed to sit myself down. But every so often, my sisters and I would think of some master plan that would inevitably land us in trouble, and we would get lined up in birth order for those whoopings. Now, my older sister was up first, and her strategy to avoid the whooping was to try to be logical, to be the lawyer of the group and use judgment and sound reason. The only problem was she was in elementary school and her reason wasn't all that impressive to my parents. So if she wasn't successful, next up would be my middle sister and she was the comedian. She would hit them with her best jokes and hope that they would crack a smile or laugh because nine times out of 10, if she was successful, we would get out of the whooping because they would lose their steam by laughing. Now, I would root extra hard for her because she was my last line of defense. But if she was not successful, then it was on me. And I would do everything I could to avoid the whooping till my sisters were finally begging for my parents to just whoop me and get it over with. But I would beg, I would plead, I would stall, I would cry, I would give compliments, I would make promises. I would ask to use the bathroom and get a drink of water, but it, it wasn't a lie because they would literally scare the pee out of me. I was a real sensitive kid. And now it's funny and it's cute and you shake your head and you roll your eyes when it's a little kid, but what do you do when you're an adult and you can't separate pain from punishment? For me, that was a lot what was going on in my adulthood. I would be enduring the struggles of life, you know, the pain of the process with growing and developing and failing and learning. And I would be working overtime to try to figure out what I did wrong. When life got too hard, it had to be punishment. There was no other reason in my mind. But after taking a look at it, writing this blog, I really see how my perspective on pain just had to change and that's one thing that God really helped me with in my 30th year of helping me to see pain as necessary and to understand that some processes are just meant to hurt. There's no way to avoid it. There's no way to get around it. But in my angst to avoid it, I would miss the lesson and miss the purpose for the pain. So the decision came, either I was gonna endure the pain of the process or I was going to endure the pain of the consequences of not living to my full potential or not becoming the person I was meant to become. The pain was inevitable, but the purpose really determined if it was worthwhile. So if you want to know more about what I've discovered and what I see clearly when it comes to this whole process and pain thing, head over to my blog, clarice.blog. It's C-L-A-R-I-S-E-E dot B-L-O-G. And I'd love to talk to you about it.